All right, excited to be back with more to the core. Really like this game a lot. Actually, just played a little bit of Hell Divers. This is another wait. Were the evil invading aliens game? Uh, I left myself some notes last time. I guess I'm just gonna go back to the home planet on a high prestige here. Uh, just to kind of remind myself how to play because it's a lot to keep track of. And then um, after doing this, I need to go get a bunch of sand to unlock the new tier. Remember, there's a couple buttons here. Like, I think I can press shift to turn off gravity. Is that how that works? Okay. Yeah. Drill in, and I can recover after that. I really love the way this game changes. The very beginning where you're just like constantly drilling and dying over and over, and now you have all these like weapons and upgrades. It's a great incremental game. Siege and restart. I'm keep doing that as much as I can. I need lots of money to start with, and then I have to go find sand. Oop. Maybe adjust the audio a little bit. Shit. Careful not to dive straight in this time. Check how much money I actually need. I'll look at that after this next prestige here. Okay. Go to solar system, go to shop. All right, so I was trying to get one called, uh, it's like level four planets, I have to find it now. stuff I haven't unlocked. We have all the fuel tanks. I guess if it's gray, that means I've finished it. I don't need to even look at it anymore. Planet matter, the vision upgrade. Two planets, I already have that. So I need, okay, so I just got enough money to afford it. So I need glass and sand. Okay. So let's go work on that. Dora's got plenty of sand. Frostbite's pretty easy. Other one's a little bit harder. Should go deliberately. I guess I should just try to like get as much prestige as I can before I bother with farming the sand specifically, I think. Oh shit. Oh, got me there. Cobalt's kind of annoying to gather here. Might have to back up and recover health. Oh shit. I forgot how fast I move now. I can't get a lot of fuel back here. Probably just need to push the core as soon as I can. go straight forward then. It's already a decent amount of sand, but I want to try to get at least one more level up. have to not touch the cobalt. Or a gap where I can actually fit in there safely too. So I think if I just slightly nudge the cobalt, I'm gonna have a bad day essentially. There we go. One more prestige and then I can just focus on the sand. No! Going so well. Okay. I guess I'm getting cobalt all the while. I'm 
try to grab some tech upgrades here, but I'm just really trying to get this new planet. I think I have to start crafting more glass as well. Oh, I didn't realize that, okay. Like that, okay, sure. That's still like a legitimate strategy. Oh, really? The back of your ship doesn't cause damage? I don't know if I knew that. Danger zone is where the, uh, oh shit, what the fuck? The missile explosions are happening, right? Let's try to get some sand here. Sand mastery. doing here i need a lot of sand okay i can start making crafting glass which is just coal and sand it has to go on its own should get there though Squeezing out one more prestige makes farming for the sand on the outside much more efficient. Isn't that the thing that's shooting little laser shots all around me? check. I think it uses the same slot as the enhancer. so close you're sure i feel like i bumped the side of the cobalt there maybe it was with the part of the drill bit pretty siphon you know shoot lasers from your drill right like a button I have to press for it that I'm forgetting. Oh, just left click. Okay. All right, that consumes fuel. Thanks for the reminder. Out of 
fuel here. Play it safe here. Much slower when I'm not getting the benefit of the static, though. First try, okay. Let's see what we're doing. Maybe go to an earlier prestige and try to get one of these rewards. I haven't done time limit. I need a little bit more power for it to be possible. I guess I can just try to crash into it if time's almost up. Did I get it? I think I did. I think I got it that time, okay. So let's see. Diamonds. Let's go ahead and upgrade this guy. Say 50%. I have enough sand now. I have enough glass, so I just have to get the sand. So let's just do it on whatever the highest level is. It's fine. It's great if I've done it for this level before, essentially. Do I need to do them all simultaneously to get them to carry over to the new prestiges? I can do them all separately, it looks like. Two prestige is much harder than one here. Okay. I will not be able to get the time limit one for that guy. Five hundred million sand, I think. I need lots of coal anyway, so Circuit boards, diamonds, and steel. Let's see what else I can buy here. Increase damage, make how close you are to the core. Increase fuel. Get electricity from broken blocks. Electric drill, electric drill plus. Okay. 
just gonna buy all the things here. It might not be optimal, but start thinking about where I actually wanna put it. Radius of static seems pretty helpful. Defense is good. I did get a lot of cobalt from doing all that. Spend sand on. Drill speed, grenade damage. I'm not really using my grenades. That's another button I have to press, is that right? Some of these unlock other things in the tree, so I do want to put points into random stuff here. Gems am I sitting on? I've got a lot of gems. Holy shit. Can I not set this to upgrade? No, that's money. That's why it's not working. Misunderstood. Okay. Let's go find diamond. Garakus. Uranium. Diamond glaciers. Sure. Two trillion. Holy shit. Okay. Well, let's get the money for that. It's my next big source of progress. It's possible prestige. Let's see if I can get all the upgrades on the earlier levels. I should try to do that. It's still doable. Easy peasy. Let's do it on three. Problem. Glass Mastery. I do like that doing these challenges actually makes this easier as well. Okay. Five. Spaces grenades? Okay. helps a lot for the core. Yeah, this one has like the easiest prestige challenges, I guess. I guess the increased block health is what makes hitting them with the uh, drill so dangerous. Some money here. Remind me, what's the uh, negative effect of frostbite? There's certain planets that just have it by default, right? But it's an optional challenge on these planets. the only downside to it. Gotta just save my grenades for this level next time.
Just noticed the sun is an option. It's funny. And the bonuses from Prestige only apply when I'm doing stuff on this planet, right? So it's a way to get upgrades that apply to harvesting this planet only. Versus the upgrades in the actual shop menu are global. How long I can get away with doing all the challenges here on the home planet? This is nasty. And right, part of the idea here is that there are certain things I can harvest that make the laser better. If I have the, but the laser has to be equipped for it to get better automatically, right? And I don't have to spend resources to do that. It just gets better as it gathers them. About to have one trillion. Can't touch it anymore. Good to know. coins. diamonds right away because I want to get circuit boards crafting. Okay. Two trillion. Shit, I misunderstood. It's fine. Just keep going. It's confirming that I did these the other levels, yeah. faster and also super worth it. Oh shit. starting to get a bit brutal without more upgrades. I could just go for the money. I'll try to finish this if I can. Shit. Yeah, I'll just get the money then and move on. Come back with more upgrades later.
silicon's worth more than the iron. Okay. Uh, solar system purchase. There we go. Two trillion travel. I got a little bit of diamond right away. I was worried it was going to be like super brutal to start. Let's do a couple things here. So first of all, let's make some of these. Let's get it going. And then I'll start grabbing random upgrades, I guess. Don't care about the drill explosion size too much. That's pretty helpful, actually. That's also really helpful. Drop rate of blocks, diamond. Oh, that unlocks a bunch of stuff. Cool. Antimatter. Crit chance. Crit chance multiplier. I'm playing Diablo. Get rewards for doing these. But I don't have to like redeem them, right? It just happens automatically. Get these, hit the races crafting these, I guess. Need more coal. Let me get plenty of diamonds though since I'm here. Oh wait, I wanna do, make sure I do everything in prestige one. Block health surge three times. Nasty. I feel like that it's three different tiers of diamond. There's a lot of cool design space for the different planets to have unique challenges on them. I like that. Yellow is going to be a pain in the ass. Get some fuel back. Okay. Save literally all my grenades for the yellow part next time. Actually reach the core it'll die pretty fast unless if the core also benefits from block health increases maybe it does to me. I was a little nervous there. I need a shitload of diamonds. That's nice. Cutting that a little close. 
Static is huge. Like I think it makes a really reduces the attention I have to spend on keeping my fuel topped off. Pink is profitable. I think a pink is actually a little profitable on the fuel. Okay. Actually have to hold down shift that could just toggle it. That helps. Probably gonna do this optional prestige thing for the first one, because it's gonna get real brutal after this, I think. Sucks. Okay, maybe I won't bother with it for now. Then I'll just get lots of prestige. Brutal. Need more coal. It's becoming a problem. Maybe I can unlock here. It's particularly exciting. I do want to get whatever these unlock. Crit chance. Arms? Plants and soil, okay. Farming. That's funny. So I just have to wait until it produces a seed, it looks like. Gold. Grenade region, oh, that sounds amazing. I didn't even think about that being possible. Very convenient. Okay, let me get some coal really quick. Gold and Agaricus, <laughs> just the sun. Uh, it's probably the place to go because I'm gonna need more sand anyway. I could do frostbite for free. This prestige sucks. I'll just take what I can get for now. Then. Yeah, I've done a bit of that. I just want to fly around each planet and get a bunch of resources just to see if I'm leaving anything obvious on the table here. I really like the 
enemies on this planet. Life finds a way. Enemies spawn on this planet. Invading aliens. The natural progression of paper clips, it feels like. More points in a grenade region that seems really great. Material does for me yet. Okay, we've been doing that one. We've got the moon, some sulfur. Make sure I'm on the highest prestige. Let's try this. Oh, yeah. I'm sitting on progress here. quick in the future. Let's see if there were like resources that would offer me upgrades that I had run out of. I'm just running these random planets real quick. I get gems is just kind of like a flat chance on top of any time I break a block, right? So I can only make that better with upgrades in the shop menu, I think. Let's see what we're looking at here. Seed increase chance, chance to get a seed. Oh, there's our organic matter. Oh, wow, there's a lot of things I can put in that, okay. <laughs> okay. Rock seeds. Sand seeds, coal seeds. This is really funny. So let's be passively. Yes, yeah, so the game is becoming increasingly more uh, AFK, more idle, I guess. Oh, thanks, Robin. I didn't see that person. I don't know if the command is having problems lately. Let's get as many of these going as I can here. So, prestiging these costs cores, which is interesting. Add shrapnel to all explosives sounds great. Missile size is nice. More grenade scaling, okay. Drill is not my main source of damage. I'm not super worried about that. More electricity you have buffs drops. Organic tank. I 
I don't think I can ever catch up the, well, maybe I can use, the drill is still nice for lower level planets, but it's hard to catch it up here, I guess is the problem. I can maybe try to get as many seeds as I can, because that seems pretty helpful. Those are like lower level um, resources that would be annoying to get otherwise, I guess, is sort of the point there. Crafting. Am I just out of silicon and or does this just take forever to upgrade circuit boards? It makes it seem like I have diamond and silicon. Kind of weird. Oh they apply to the laser. Okay, that's good to know. See the ones I haven't tried yet, just for fun. Oh, 150 quadrillion for the sun. 700 trillion, 10 trillion. I didn't realize the diamond was actually the easiest of these. Let me get more of these real quick. Goes a long way. Actually, let me try again and save my grenades for the yellow part. encountered a planet that's just gems. I think each layer of diamond produces more diamond when it gets hit. That's kind of the idea. Kind of a massive efficiency upgrade. Curiosity. I didn't actually finish this, right. Okay, let's try to do it on level one really quick just to see what happens. Turn on one of those. I just want to get block drops, drill fuel, drill damage. Block drops are what I'm here for, so let's try, let's try that. Tight of yellows. A little scary. I love unlocking farming. Like goofy shit like that, I live for it. Gems, like significantly more gems. What are we getting here? Electric drops. More electric drops requires carbon. Circuit boards for electricity tank. Let's see what that builds to. Static explosion is really nice. Missiles per second probably good. Uh, 
Diamond plated drill, drill damage up. Well, that's a pretty substantial drill damage change. I do like depth fuel a lot. Electric drill. More region is good. Maxing more stuff is good in general if I can. Gem amount, yes please. Let me get as many gems as I can. Drop chance for seeds, okay, I see. So where's my seed drop chance? That's soil and organic matter. So I can try to spend some time uh, here. So I'll try to get more seeds. soil. Okay, now I'm short on organic matter, which means I have to kill more dudes in that level, which is fine. Drop chance 100%. Iron seeds. Upgrade for zero, for one, for 2.8. I need 2.8 then still. It's a drop chance every time a block is broken. I get iron seeds, 100% drop chance, huh? So let's see, solar damage. Let's see how this goes. Static's getting really good. I think the creatures I'm murdering get more and more numerous the longer I'm on the map, which is kind of cool. I also like it from a storytelling perspective that, of course, we start invading and fucking with uh, peaceful planets. Get some fuel back here. Yeah. I think I might be able to safely drill. It's hard to say. Whoa, I didn't realize they could shove me into the core like that. Damn, all right. Try this one more time. I might need to come back with better stats and just focus on raw prestige for now. Just want to get a lot of organic material and a lot of soil here. So it makes the computer harder for them to get to me.
Organic matter is going to be hard to come by eventually, it seems like. Harder to come by, anyway. squeeze in there. I don't know if it's worth it though. much in the way of healing here, sadly. Let's try to get it. They keep wanting to ram me into the core. I mean, it makes sense. Seems like a good strategy from their part. Oh my god, there's so many computer aliens on the other side of the ship. Well, I am the alien. Do a charge attack. Okay, that's probably as good as it's gonna get there. So let's see, shop, farming. I wanna get that to be as crazy as I can get it. Nice. Upgrade. Yeah, I don't know what the drop chance, I don't think it tells me. Drop chance 100%. I don't know what causes me to get more seeds. Sand mastery. Shrapnel to all explosives. Pretty fun. Grenade count's not super important. The region is way more important. Need uranium for uh, reduced grenade region delay. Smart. Okay. Drones. Interesting. Okay, so you have to get it from that specific resource. Could try that really quick. Just go get a bunch of iron. I guess that includes spending it on an upgrade. Okay. So rock, sand, and coal, just for fun. Let's go see. Had a hundred percent on those guys. And iron, I guess. I don't see the seeds dropping. I guess is the problem. That's why I wasn't sure. Drones are cool.
Might try to go for money and get some of those other planet unlocks here. Probably still good shit I can do with that. Curious if it's spending the resource rather than gathering it, because I only saw me having a bunch of seeds after I bought stuff. Let's check. Maybe it is just gathering them there. Okay. Iron and sand. I like seeing everything just like accruing now. It's pretty fantastic. Cobalt's still kind of a big pain in the ass. You essentially get those for the lower tier resources. You don't have to go manually gather them anymore, which is really fun. I don't know if I get to replant these, I guess is another question. It's not clear to me. Yeah, it's growing the iron, exactly. So you don't have to get it yourself. Uh, Prestige this guy, that's a good use of cores. Should make it a lot easier for me to upgrade a lot of these things here. Doesn't give me gems though. Okay, just start grabbing stuff here, clear it out. This is a good way to make sure you max out all the lower tier stuff, it looks like, so that's nice. There we go. Well, that's a substantial crit chance increase. Okay. It's hard to like identify what are the multiplicative versus additive increases in here, right? I don't think, I think I can't get seeds from the resources being produced by the seeds, which is fine, but. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, I'm seeing the seeds at the top. Aluminum seed obtained. Okay, gotcha. Right, so I can get seeds for any of these. The drop chance is quite low, sure. I should try to get as many cores as I can then. So it gives you a reason to keep doing the blocks, which tracks. That's why that was comical. It was not at my highest prestige. Okay. I need money anyway, so I'll do this for a bit. I think it maybe only tells you when you're obtaining seeds if the chance isn't 100%. Makes sense. Yeah, I think the upgrades for doing the challenges here like outpace the added challenge or nearly match the added challenge. Maybe that's deliberate. Just keep prestiging until I can't do it anymore, and then I'll just do this for money to unlock their main planets. Gem seeds would make me very happy.
Crafting is a pretty significant bottleneck for me at the moment. I should take a break just to go into the shop really quick. Okay, let's see. Prestige aluminum. Prestige everything a little bit. Let's try to get them tied here. Yeah, so the drop rate on aluminum is still relatively low. Not great. Two billion iron per second. One. What do we got on this list here? Depth meters, capped. Keep crafting these where possible. It's a good way to get gems though on this planet that I'm on right now. Let me get some diamond seeds running on this. Probably take forever, but. I guess basically the idea is you unlock the ability to get seeds at all. And there's a hidden drop rate that you don't know about until you first get a seed, a single seed. Makes sense. What other upgrades can I get here somewhat trivially? Crit chance one I'm a big fan of. Crit multiplier. More drop boost. That's really funny. I think any of the ones that are like 80 are just supposed to be a sink, so I should probably be looking for stuff that's much smaller upgrade cap to start here. It's easier for me to just like spam click these and actually try to look at them. Imagine the current drop chance for diamond seeds is very low. So let's go try to get, I, I really like farming. I want to advance it as much as I can here. Try to do the ones that I think are relatively free. Let's first just do it on ones. Let's try. No, no, digging's not an option. Clay's pretty useful here too, it seems like. All I really care about is block drops, and I guess drill fuel frostbite doesn't seem to be that big of a problem, honestly. Keep going with this.
Okay, how are we doing? Uh, coal seeds. This guy can't get soil and plant seeds, which I guess makes sense. It's funny. Where do you so that's 150 quadrillion, 700 trillion, 10 trillion is my next. Okay, let's get that unlocked really quick. Why not? Need stuff from that planet anyway. Uh oh. I wish it would remember what I was previously on. It seems to pick like an almost arbitrary prestige when I come back to it. Super understand it. Sulfur, rock, and gold. I do need gold for a bunch of things. So. Like the different shape of this one, that's fun. This one's tricky because the core is so far away from other stuff, so you don't get like free health recovery as quickly. The drones just like auto suicide, it looks like. Gold seeds would be fun. Probably stuff I can do with gold. It's gem cap. Core boosts. Stat boost being how many cores you have. Oh, you have. Shoot. Probably should have taken that before going too crazy on other stuff here. More circuit boards. Need capacity, I don't care about as much. Drop chance up to 100% on aluminum. No, gold seeds, lovely. Definitely put some prestige into that. Okay, let's get some more gold. Oh, are they just laser constantly from far away? Maybe. scale with my stats. Should just go like deep core hunting here. All the planets that have easy cores that I haven't gathered, which there are a bunch. It's very easy to get candy looped in this game. You set out to do one thing and just like completely get sidetracked. I do need a bunch of organic material to get a higher seed drop chance, which is helpful for certain resources like diamond. Uh, so prestige four. I think kind of the idea is it takes a while for aliens to show up. The prestige matters. Oh, I did get a plant seed. Hooray! It's exciting.
Oh, bought me into it. That's okay. Plant seeds? <laughs> the weirdest seed. What the fuck is a plant seed? I'm used to like iron. Uh, let's see. this tree looking going for organic matter it looks like that doesn't scale up like crazily to start missile counts getting pretty crazy here too which is neat the laser I regenerate fuel here slightly Probably get one more prestige before I go for organic matter. It gets pretty dangerous as the space invader guys can knock me into the center. with them, but it's not perfect. You have really good single target damage. Kill the guys that have stacked up really quick. Decent amount of organic matter. Use these poor guys as solar, as like fertilizer basically. diamond level real quick to see if I get any diamond seeds from that. Yeah, I'm so far behind. The crafting is like a huge bottleneck for me. Good as I can do for now, I think. Let's see if it gives me any seeds here just for fun.
imagine it's like one in ten thousand or lower. You get a lot of rolls per second, but. Also, just try to save up trillions for the new planet. circuit board production. Okay. Oh, did I get another one here? Diamond seeds, I didn't even see it unlock. Fantastic. Oh man, producing per second one. Okay, doing one prestige is a big deal. So maybe I shouldn't have over prestige these other ones. Make sure I can one prestige everything. Okay, what does that let me do now? Shiny blocks. It seems important. That could be why I feel like I'm falling behind on gems. Drone shoot delay reduced. It's pretty cheap to do right now. Pretty substantial drop boost. All right, so I need to know which resources do I not have seeds for? Iron, silicon, aluminum, rock, sand, coal, diamond, plant, cobalt, gold. I hope, well, let's see. Sulfur, I don't think I have. Is there a minus? I didn't see that. Thanks, I thought that was a permanent commitment. I haven't done ice in a minute. I need to. Seeds, yes. And sulfur was the moon. Weird it always defaults that. Shiny blocks spawn. Oh, are those extra gems, basically? Is that what shiny blocks do? I kind of like that. It gives you something to look for. Those are essentially the gem blocks I was talking about wanting. Yeah, it's interesting because once you have enough seeds, you can kind of just focus on getting uh, use my words here, cores. 
It would be funny if there's like a core seed at the end. <laughs> Got sulfur seeds. I don't think I'm missing anything. Drop chance is max on basically all these, and I do have enough to buy. Oh, 700 trillion. I thought it was 200 trillion. I can make that happen, though. Just stay on here for a minute. Oh, is that maybe the highest one? No, I don't know why it picks the one it picks. It's really weird. I forgot to have this on. Shoot. It's, it's much slower if I have to manually prestige every time. Wish that didn't block the moon there. basically now all I care about are seeds. I don't actually care about the resource. Since I get a lot of these essentially for free, it's fun. Crafting. Hello. Level five planets, okay. Drop boosters, just diamond. Freeze fuel. Boost Siphon, Max Cores, Shiny Block Chance is nice, Shiny Block Multiplier, you want to see what that evolves into. Shoot delays. Okay, uranium I can do now, I think. 297 million gems. Oh, oh I'm close, not quite. Okay, we'll get it. Which prestige did I leave off on? I it was 12. Quadrillion coins. Okay, let me finish this so I don't forget. The shiny blocks seem like they're an extremely substantial increase to the amount of uh, gems I get, which is great because it'll help with that, say, Pretty significant um, bottleneck at the moment. Okay. 
that's as far as I need to go. So let's unlock this guy. Let's get some uranium. Shiny block on this level will give like a ton of gems or something. These VODs are definitely among my largest VODs. Like, every pixel is going crazy every frame. It's nuts. There was a lot of gems. Radioactive. I get it. games like this, like the time I'm spending playing the game attentively, I should really be popping out of the menu and just like, I almost certainly got some uranium seeds, unless if they're crazy rare. It would be funny if there's seeds for literally everything, like organic material seeds. Core seeds would be the funniest. Finally break it? This one shiny block is kicking my ass. Seems nearly invulnerable. I like you can turn them off, because they can be an impediment, it seems like. this guy off. Oh, well, that'll happen too. Did I get a uranium seed? Did. Doki. I don't have enough gems to make the circuit boards significantly faster. Uranium gets me the drone shoot delay, drone bombs, drones explosion, looks like drone sex explosion. Seem good. Diamond covering, orbital lasers. Right click, okay. <laughs> to bring down orbital lasers. Laser thickness. Stay time. Grenade region delay, I'm happy to see that. More region delay, grenade bulk, there's antimatter. Drop booster is a dump, essentially, or reflection. Hydrogen, I should have to unlock the sun for that. I'm getting close to being able to do it though. Crit chance up. Boost siphon, boost damage, boost fuel, just based on max cores. Shiny block multiplier we like. Okay. Latum. Tungsten, lead, and mercury. don't have soil production. It might be that they explicitly exclude soil and um, 
organic material since that's what you need to get more seeds in the first place. It would like feed in on itself. Okay, the orbital laser is pretty sweet. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if it's trying to reward you for... It says max cores. So I don't know if that includes invested cores. I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Yeah, but not running all your farms seems kind of lame, so I don't know. It didn't say current cores, right? That's why I'm not sure. That's nice and helpful. More drones is probably good. And Max laser stay time is fun. Wow, I got a lot of uranium. <laughs> seeds aren't screwing. I don't think I have clay seeds. Gem materializer. Oh, fuck yeah. Yes. Unequip this, please. I need that real bad. Okay. I think it says that finding gems is what... Oh, that stay time increases. Beautiful. Finding gems is what increases the siphon. There's 50 times. Way. I've got like billions of gems now. Yeah, that was the thing I needed. might just be not worth going for in these higher levels. I'm getting gems passively just from blowing shit up too, so. thought I was like at a very ridiculous place like even just going from only having the drill to having the laser like wow this is so insane like I was not imagining like the <laughs> the drones flying around or the explosions triggering additional explosions right it gets really crazy I guess I still get mastery from farming it seems like Almost be able to afford the sun. Oh, I could totally afford the sun. No problem. Oh, that's fun. I like the. That's really cool. Design space. That's kind of disorienting. It's great.
producing more because that would be kind of funny if I have to like overcome it. Rate of production essentially. Let's see, I assume I have a bunch of new farming options here. Soil seeds, hell yeah. Else, it's perceived zero. Scroll wheel stuff in this game is a little annoying, to be honest. It's not the end of the world. It seems like there's a way to get almost everything through idle means, which is cool. But they delay all the idle stuff until quite a bit later, which is fun. Okay, and that should help a lot. You get these to within order of magnitude, I guess. That's a huge deal. Should help with this entire tree, essentially. Hydrogen, neon, critical strike multiplier, plus plus, crit chance increases, critical drop. Oh, I didn't see that was a critical drop chance. That's fun. I thought it was just more crit chance, essentially. I want to try to get my chance up so I can get hydrogen seeds. Quantum bombs. Take all the stuff that's super cheap. Okay, I think everything in the center, this is like the dump when you're out of things to buy. I don't want to worry too much about those. Okay. Latum is 10 quadrillion? Wait, can I just buy this? Oh, shit. All right. Sure. That's funny. You died, no kidding. Like the falling asteroids, it's different. Oh yeah, that grenade regeneration gets really crazy. See if I get more seeds from all that, probably. Oh yeah. Let's do one to start. Lead. Meteorite seeds. Okay. There's like a button that just presses all of these constantly, right? That's the next level of automation is press the upgrade button for me. <laughs> Good on drop chance for most of these, it seems like. Okay. So what all, oh my God. Uh, caustic gas, shoot out bubbles of gas. Tungsten carbide drill. The bloody hell is a Tungsten Carbide Drill. I think that's my favorite uh, Monty Python sketch. The, like, father who's a poet and his son wants to become, a, like, a coal miner. <laughs> Nothing wrong with gala luncheons. Okay, 
It's good to see. We will take more orbital beacons. Thank you. I think it's the blue ones. Are these all sinks? Okay, so if I see dark blue, I just know. Don't worry about it. I can live without it. I guess the color is how many total upgrades can go into it, huh? So white, I should be prioritizing wherever possible. I see. Okay, let's try this again. The way this bounces makes it really disorienting to try to tell which way you're supposed to go. That's kind of impressive, actually. Fuck you, son. Probably need to increase the drop chance, get some more uh, organic matter. Oh, the game really starts to drag, that's crazy. There's a lot happening, I guess. Confirming if one drop I didn't see a drop. It did not, so I probably need more seeds. Let's see what's up here as an option. Strike multiplier. Singularity. <laughs> Infinity box, okay. More crazy drop boost. Taking grenade region delay, that's pretty nutty. I'm not seeing what's causing the gas. I think it just happens automatically. I don't think it's a button I have to press. Pretty big damage reduction numbers there. Should have a ton of gems again. Not a trillion gems though. Oh yeah, quantum boards, I didn't see these. Quantum board, micro drills, spawn micro drills on block break. That sounds incredible. <laughs> Energy balls around you. Okay, so I definitely want to get more of these if I can. Gems, please. I need to leave and go do organic matter, actually. Yeah. Back to Vita. I can probably do all of these now because I have all these crazy upgrades I didn't have before. Orbital strike can dig, like it can continue in the hole it was just in. I'm not actually sure about that though. So, 
big operative problem here is the block health increase. And I guess I can start turning shinies off for this sort of progression. Probably why they give me the option. Makes more sense. Okay, that's what I was expecting to happen when I loaded in here. Thanks for the tip. It's very funny. Oh, I didn't do it. Shit. Yeah, I gotta be careful. I should probably just always have those running because it's annoying to go back and get them later. If I'm not doing shiny blocks, I can probably turn the uh, laser back on. Soon there'll be an upgrade eventually that lets me have multiple pieces of equipment at the same time. I guess those little circles flying around are the poison gas or whatever, the caustic gas. Grenade region is almost faster than I can like press it now. It's amazing. Then you get orbital bombardment region. Do okay. I have any new oh, clay seeds? Never pick this up. Would be helpful. It, clay does give you a lot of benefits. How like the game kind of becomes like this farming screen. <laughs> it's amazing. Uh, how's this equipment doing? It's maxed out. Okay. Wow, it's like really easy to max these guys out. should max the siphon expander. It's probably trivial for me. It's just rock and sand. Let's do it really fast. bunch of cores just by doing this on every planet. I need organic materials really badly. Now you're maxed out. Oh, maybe not. 15. It's not super helping me anyway. Well, that's interesting. It advances from the stuff I'm generating while it's equipped. I guess it's leveling up anyway. It's fine. <laughs> All right, turn this back on for a minute. And uh, craft, 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 craft. Grenade region, static size. I'll always take more. Electric drill. Jet fuel, drone bombs, bomb size, micro drill damage, drop multiplier. I want to make that as big as I can because it seems like even small increases really increase the amount of uh, stuff you can get from it. Let's go back to here. Yeah, 
I imagine this game just looks like complete noise. for the core really I think that this is like a big bottleneck right now until I'm able to get organic material seeds assuming they exist they might not and then I'll kill all of the units on the screen really quick. Can I drill on this planet? Yeah. Actually, I've got enough damage reduction. I can actually kind of safely drill again, which is nice. It's fine. That's what happens. Okay. Give me more organic matter. Fantastic. Keep doing that for a little bit just to see if I can get nitrogen seeds, which would be lovely. It'd be better to wait to use that until I get to the sand clay layer. Uh, well, for fun, let me go, let's see. Just got more of this. So let's get more seed increase chance and go to the sun. Can't tell if the bouncing rays end up generating resistance for the orbital bombardment. Nice, that wasn't too bad. Did you finish this game, Fuchsia? got a ton of money uh is there a new option to unlock a new tier of planet doesn't look like it i know there is gonna have to be a new tier of planet because there's stuff i haven't encountered yet did i get hydrogen seeds yet well, i can click and drag that makes the screen much easier to deal with Oh, nitrogen seeds. Oh, and hydrogen seeds. Fantastic. Hell yes. Okay. So I didn't get neon seeds, which means I probably need more farming upgrades to have a chance at that. Doing great on gems. Nothing's really behind here. Probably want to like go for shiny blocks and get a bunch of gems. So a lot of fuel, more energy balls are nice. Oh, damage diffuser. Increase hull and fuel, meteorite and mercury. I guess I'll max it out really quick. Maybe that makes it so there are certain screens that are more doable. Oh 
God. I love how ridiculous this game gets and how like fast it gets ridiculous too. You feel like you're constantly playing a different game. I've always enjoyed that about idle games in the first place. To get these like different regimes of play. But having an active play element is really neat. Got so many micro drones. I really want bombardment region. I think that would be nuts. Shiny gem blocks, the best thing to do is to go to my home planet, turn it on, turn on the gem harvester, and then just go ham. Maybe. These meteorites are mean. I'm almost just constantly mashing a uh, grenade. Next up, I need an upgrade that just makes me fire grenades automatically. <laughs> They region off it enough. Come on, so close. There we go. Okay. Damage diffuser is doing pretty well. That's a pretty substantial hull and fuel uh, modifier. So we can make static size at its maximum, which is great. More orbital beacons. Make the laser dummy thick. Craft all the things. And let's keep pushing organic material to try to get neon seeds. I think that's the only seed I don't presently have. Did I do all the objectives last time? It did. Okay. I think this one is harder than a lot of the other ones. I don't know if just like the block health increase is like especially noticeable on this one. I really don't have to worry about fuel anymore in this. God, that's a tough sand layer. It's like a joke. Maybe they made this planet especially nasty knowing that it had such an important resource on it that you can't get anywhere else. Well, not yet anyway. I'm sure I can later, but... Take through. Yeah. Oh my god. And grenades build up so quickly, it's really funny. I don't think I can hold the button down, no. So it's a mash space bar. <laughs> you can't hold it down. It's fine. Okay. Keep giving me this guy is what I live for at the moment. I want to max that. I think that's important. The gas size seems pretty good. I could probably actually come close to getting these like dumps completed. Not all of them, I guess. Good. All right, 
Um, I want to try to get a bunch of gems. I'm still pretty bottlenecked by stuff that's craftable. Let me see if this is a good way to do that. It might not be. Gem blocks? Okay, no, that's actually pretty good. Getting more gem mastery, too. <laughs> this game is awesome. <laughs> Uh, I don't know, I can go check. Oop. This might be the gem solution, actually. I mean, nine trillion gems? Okay, yeah, let's just, let's do this for a while just to go crazy on gems. That seems like a good idea. I don't think I have any use for cash anymore, at least not at the moment. Doing this until like the shiny blocks take a noticeable amount of time to get destroyed, I guess. Gem Mastery 21. 30 trillion gems. Makes sense. There's always a top order of magnitude in idle games. Put us gem wise in a great place, turns out. Everyone's in the same tier on the upgrades, okay. Farming, let's just go crazy here. I've got a bunch of cores I can spend, technically. I don't really care which ones get the benefits here. I assume there's later gonna be crazy, like, dump nodes that I haven't unlocked yet. Prestige. I do like the idea that you only get seeds when you actively gather that resource. Tungsten Mastery. Must have some new, like, milestone skin rewards. No, not really. <laughs> That's funny. we want to do on the screen. Uranium's still coming a little slow. Always take more bombardments. And those are getting pretty slow too. Feel good about what I did with gems there. I can check this one and see what the block health surge is doing. Drill damage. And it's not insignificant. I think the sand layer on this planet's just like super nasty regardless. Unusually nasty. And we theorize the drill damage effects Laser damage.
Oh god, almost bumped into it. Do this until it gets annoying and then I'll start hunting for organic material. I don't think there's an organic matter mastery. Definitely feel like the most important resource in the game, which makes sense. I keep trying to see how much I have and it like scrolls off the screen. <laughs> Thousands, I think. Now the core is getting kind of annoying, so we can probably start trying to just focus on organic matter. I think like the the space invader natives are just getting obliterated before they can even get close to me because of the drone lasers. You don't want to be on this planet. You have a really bad, like, afternoon. I don't really need to seek them out then. Okay. Maxed, beautiful. Okay, that should make some things much easier. Beacons. Just confirm for sure that I that organic matter. Is this game on mobile. It's been kind of fun on mobile. <laughs> Notice that you can like swipe screens, which is better than trying to use the scroll bar. Uh, all right, let me do this one more time now that I got all those upgrades, just to see if I can get organic matter seeds. Yeah, that's funny. seeds exist. Well, I guess first of all okay. plant seeds the most absurd kind of seed Let's see if I can get neon seeds Could be still another note I haven't unlocked that gives you more seed chance than what I have. Maybe it's just a really rare chance, even at max points. That's also possible, I suppose. 
drones is good. Be crafting more. Let's sit on gems for a little bit longer here. Prestige 29. <laughs> oh, we have to turn on shiny blocks. Oops. Do it after this. I really like that these challenges almost even out with the prestige increase, it seems like. Yeah, I wish the orbital strikes were on space and the grenade was on right click. starting to struggle y'all it's funny <laughs> there's a lot happening on the screen maybe oh shit oh. hey it's getting so I can't touch the planet really at all now sextillion Trillion gems. Let's see. I need gem unlocks before I go hunting here. Micro drill self destruct. Sounds really useful. And I definitely need to get more of these. That's slowing things down a bit. Neon seeds. Hey, we're. I guess they're 100% chance, huh? Maybe I'm just blind. Okay. Oh, that's nice. Hydrogen, nitrogen, iron. Okay, I've got prestige to spend. I guess I could just put everything on like prestige two and try to benefit from the bonus of having cores, but we don't know how that works still. Gunpowder is still pretty slow going, sadly. Quantum board craft rate is getting better at least. Circuit boards and steel. Make sure I've got plenty in the queue here. Garkis, I've barely explored. Shit. Every course here. I think the only resource I don't have seeds for then is organic material. And I guess cores, if that ever becomes a thing. A 
circuit board mastery is pretty funny. Oh shit. Been nasty out here. Oh, the time limit's killing me too. Okay, that's fine. Never got to procedure four here. Probably turn off shiny blocks except when I'm explicitly going for gems. They seem pretty nasty. Desperately need auto fire grenades. Make me very happy to have that. It might be worth doing a quick pass on all the planets just to get some more seeds in case, like, I need to get the order of magnitude production up. I'm just gonna do that with diamonds. I'll just run around, go to each planet, and blow it up a couple times. done that at home a bunch of times probably fine on vita i haven't been back here cobalt maybe cobalt seeds would be good Let me make sure i'm selecting the optional objectives for that it's completely fine I wish you could get it to force a restart if you didn't already unlock those things. That's pretty brutal if you didn't. <laughs> you just like immediately go through the center. Seven seconds to break the core before dying instantly. Okay, here we go. I can take it to like 10 maybe until it ceases to be immediately free. I'm now like clearing entire planets in the time it was previously taking me to like clear the outermost layer. It's a lot of cores. I thought you had to unlock it on each previous level. If you just do it on the latest level, it counts for all of them. Is that true? Just one of these cores for the bonus here, I guess. misunderstood that from the first stream. Thank you. So 
substantial time save. favorite upgrade in this game would be an auto upgrader, a thing that just presses all these buttons every time it's possible, and also presses all the buttons in the, uh, the crafting screen constantly. Pro drill chance, damage scaling up. Uh, it's interesting, I didn't realize they had fuel. I guess that makes sense. A lot of question marks out there. I still don't have singularities. Yeah, I think that exercise I just did was actually quite helpful. Um, should be able to take it further here if I go, if I keep going down the list, so. Doing okay, Ice Planet. Oh god, I thought the game was about to crash. I couldn't find my cursor was the problem. Oh yeah, once you start getting a lot of micro drills, shit gets a little bonkers. Wild to go back and remember starting this game and literally just having to drill. I haven't done this in a minute. Oh, right. Uh, we want to turn all this stuff on. Laser thickness up. Yeah, I, I thought this would end up being the case that I need to like make it so that I'm basically collecting more, significantly more of these. Put them all up to five. I can. Prestige is significantly more impactful than. Upgrade. It's like uh, heavenly chips and um, cookie clicker. I just have to like quickly scan this list to see seeds that I have more than a thousand of, essentially. Uranium seeds. Gems and go back to trying to farm them here. 
Hello, vision upgrade five. Yes, let's go. Straight damage boost for gold. Okay. Is this Cupid? Hey, thanks, Tryhard. I'm doing all right. How have you been? Oh, I'm gonna. Oh, there are gem blocks here. Fantastic. Love to see it. This game's really fun. Just straight up gems. Probably don't want the block health surge. It's fine. Shit. Much easier place to get gold, it turns out. And gems. Especially as your uh, prestige increases, I imagine. Oh yeah, that's an extreme increase in the amount of gems I can get, wow. Like, I'm up an entire order of magnitude just from the first couple layers, first couple prestiges. I hope that means I can get gem seeds. That would make me very happy. Yeah, it's really fun. Let's see. <laughs> Ah, uh, video games. That's funny. Right, let's stay here for a minute then. Stay on the gem materializer. Okay, so literally get all these where they cost a quadrillion or tens of quadrillions, I guess. And then stay on that planet for a minute. This screen's about to go nuts. I'm not sure. I just got Cupid. One complaint about this game, I like it a lot, but I wish it started to preview unlocks sooner. There are gonna be like really crucial unlocks that you don't know are right around the corner, essentially. I like that you can get masteries for crafting materials too, it's fun. dump all of my prestige into gem seeds to see what that does for me. I'll do it after this. I would love for crafting and not be the big bottleneck that it is. Was it? Okay, it wasn't clear because it said max cores. We were talking about that earlier. I couldn't tell if it was the total number of cores you had gathered up to that point. And I could try just holding all of them and see what happens. I guess these are all much like the difference between zero and one is massive, but then the difference between every additional increase is marginal. see if it's like super noticeable. Let's 
Let's see, I have 86 cores. What does that do for this stage? I know it's multiplicative, but the increase doesn't seem amazing for holding the cores. Try dumping all these on gems for a bit and see what happens. Big upgrades here. the cost gem to increase, I mean. I'm hoping there's like a circuit board planet. It does mention durability for some of those masteries. That would be funny if you could just have like the steel. It's a place to go with it. planet from Apriclips. fire grenades though. This guy, yeah, it requires singularity, but I haven't found it yet. Um, I got excited when I saw it. ability to equip more than one at a time, which is unfortunate. Because 365 trillion per second isn't as good as I can get from just mining the gem planet, so...
go trolling for cores really quick. Do that. But I did. Shit. I'm no longer a source of easy cores. Okay, what else can we get here? More drones. You really get a crazy number of drones. tricky. Yeah, it's already starting to drag. Makes you wonder if there's like a decimal error for the sand on this planet. I think they are trying to make it especially difficult to advance because of how important it is to have, um, what do you call it, a uh, organic matter, but seems accidentally tougher than it ought to be. It's a little lowish prestige, and the sun's low prestige. What is that? What the fuck? Does anything else have a button like that? Wait, does it just close? Okay. Whoa, I did not see this before. What is that red button? Okay, let's give it a try. Oh, funny. This is a bunch of stuff I don't have yet. How long has this been available? Did I have to unlock this with like, planet unlocks or something? Oh, really? I just came here to, because it was low on prestige. Oh man, if the normal sun was disorienting with the controls, Supernova's crazy. using those heavier elements. Get some seeds out of that. Yep, carbon seeds. Lithium seeds. That opens a lot of doors. Okay, electric drops. Energy ball power, spin of the energy balls. Drill explosions as all my crafting antimatter? Or is antimatter coming from the supernova? 
need explosion size fun. It's a, uh, it's kind of like an idle game. Incremental is probably a better term. You start out just using a drill to drill into planets and you eventually unlock this stuff. the little parentheses next to my grenade there? Is that like an auto-fire grenade that I unlocked without realizing it? Like a super grenade or something? Nice. Ah, uh, okay. They both regenerate at the same time, essentially. Can't do antimatter seeds unless it was like a super rare drop, which is possible. Antimatter seeds, hey, the long search is over. It's cool. a lot of carbon seeds. Ah, uh, okay, so you don't have to spam them anymore with that upgrade. Got it, thank you, that's helpful. Keep making the laser dummy thick. Love to see that. Strike multiplier is great. Doing pretty well on carbon. Haven't unlocked new crafting recipes. No. another oh okay so it was whenever you prestige oh i like the uh the kip thorn black hole that's fun oh now we get singularity okay i see that's cool Man, that was a really hidden menu All my little baby drones. Singularity seed, please. trillion singularity to get to that. Okay, that's fine. The drill is fun on this stage because if you have a good drill, it literally just like feeds into you constantly. Now I can get the crazy thing. Infinity box. Levels up based on singularity. Ah, <laughs> that's funny. All damage up. Oh, okay, and that's multiplicative with everything else. It's pretty crazy. Game's definitely losing its shit right now.
singularity is constantly increasing the damage percentage increase. Okay. Try to get to the center at least once. That'd be fun. Oh, it's really dragging. <laughs> uh, it's funny. Um, we get a singularity seed. I do. 100% drop chance, amazing. It's fine. All my quantum boards. Gone just like that. You basically have to farm this screen to get I guess you can get more singularity progress on the gear. It's better for me to restart every time I get through that first layer. I'm starting to get a lot of singularities. Oh that's cool. fuel increase I picked up is nuts. Anything else I can upgrade here? Nothing obvious. And that just blows through the necessary items like immediately, so it's fine. I can live with um, Does this thing have a max level? It would be really funny if it doesn't. But it said 60. Getting further in there. You can try saving the beam for this phase. make the black hole this insane is there significantly more to unlock after this because i know we only have like eight minutes left in the stream but if it's worth just trying to clear the black hole once i can go over a little bit to try to do that okay Getting the damage increases, so. I can zoom out, that's helpful.
We need a big damage boost for this to be worth it, I think, is the idea. Oh my god, there's... I didn't realize how many little drones I'm spawning. That's really funny. Okay, we're getting to the point where the green layer is not a big problem. The cost of gas target the core? Look, it just floats through everything and goes toward the center. Is that how that works? I don't know if it can hurt it until I get down there, though. This is at level 128. of Singularity Seeds. Should help with maxing it out, I suppose. some of these. Oh my god. <laughs> it's okay, game. I believe in you. I think this stage in particular, getting the micro drones to spawn is helpful, the micro drills. Are those quantum boards? There's nothing else for me to expend my bank singularity on, right? It's just powering up that equipment. Oh, there's a level in there that really drains my fuel fast, okay. It's okay, game. I believe in you. Yeah, I'm just wondering if there's any upgrades on the board that I may be missing and don't know that they exist. I should probably get some carbon real quick. Hold on. Let's see how the supernova goes. All these ridiculous upgrades. Okay, yeah, that makes the other levels a little bit easier. Probably turn on the challenges as well. Just comparing everything to... ...previous state of things. Let's not do block health surge, that's annoying.
probably fine. I probably just got a lot of stuff for the shop. Grenade bulk. This thing. I can get a lot of these pretty fast here. This other stuff is still pretty good because it's still stuff I've left on the table that uses similar resources. But and help me survive. Let's go get a million time. Oh, this will be real quick. Let's turn all these on. Do this on every planet really fast just to get all the kind of lingering ingredients here. for each planet until the orbital laser isn't enough to finish it, I think, and then I'll see what all upgrades I can get, and then I'll go back to the black hole. Okay, that's a good stopping point for that. It's really funny. Loading it in a laser immediately wins the stage for you. I just don't want to leave any obvious upgrades on the table here from stages that I'm not really attending to at the moment, you know? Just since it's just so trivial to do. One million blocks. Oh, I didn't realize you could get that so wide. Oh, no, that's a drop booster. Okay. thought that was the wideness thing. I was like, holy shit, what the fuck? About to laugh. Those are still pretty good. stage is still nasty. Let's get sextillion gems. Okay, that's helpful. That's very helpful, actually. get like nutty upgrades with these now. Okay, should help. Qualify for more of this shit. What did I get this thing to? 300, it just keeps going. <laughs> Increase these, I guess, since that's making my damage better while I'm doing other screens here. Okay. Cupid. Let me see if shiny blocks spawn on, like, the home planet, what all that changes here. It's 
would be funny if it never maxes. Oh my god. The level just ended instantly. It's crazy. I'm good on gems. To the diamond glaciers, did Cupid. It's just sulfur rock. I love when you load in and turn that on and it just ends. It's incredible. I love it. Turn all of these on, why not? Probably a bunch more seeds I can pick up from this, but it takes so long to like spend them, I don't know that it's worth it. Love to see it. I don't think my idle seed construction can possibly match this if I directly need something. So I can drop everything down to one if in fact it gives me the bonus, but it didn't seem like it did earlier when I was sitting on 80. I think it's just max cores collected. Which means maybe why it feels like my damage is going up because I'm getting all these cores from doing this. The sun, normal mode. That's crazy, the sun that fast. Yeah, no worries. We were not sure about it. This on like 90%, I think, 95%. Let's see what this does. The rest of the drones. That's making a difference. I'm capping all these out. Finally, it's been a while. Or distilling. Let's keep dumping onto here. It's cobalt. Yeah. really funny over the top this is probably in my top um incremental games it's just kind of a cool it feels really different from all the other ones while still sharing things in common you know it's pretty smart i don't think i need a lot of ice anymore but i could do this really fast Oops. <laughs> I think that turned off my uh, challenges. It's funny how like stupid this is now. You just load in, press the laser button, and like the core is destroyed. <laughs>
game is sure trying there. All right, I might be good enough to move along now. Let me see what I can pick up though. Craft, 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 craft. And it does burn through the crafting queue like basically instantly. If I'm able to afford it, I get good shit out of it. Uh, so that seems good. This is at 404. Love to see it. Okay, let's try the black hole and just see if it's like significantly different with all the stuff I just picked up. That seems to have made a difference. It's okay, game. It's at literally like one frame per second now. <laughs> Ah, uh, video games. All right, yeah, once all of the little mini drills die, it's not so bad. Like the defensive upgrades I've picked up have made a big difference here. I think I squeezed into a little hole there. That's fun. Assuming that innermost donut is extra dangerous. I see the core. Close enough to see the core for once. The occasional laser is getting in there my drones. This is a crazy level. Look, it's like the natural place to go as well. I'm worried that I'm gonna get I'm like cross the event horizon essentially sucked in. Ah! It did happen. I was ready for it. That was amazing. I love how everything just got destroyed there. That was incredible. All the lasers on it. This is the perfect, like, visually, this looks amazing with everything you've done up to this point. Just seeing all of the resources you've gathered. You regenerate fuel when you bump on things you spend fuel to do damage but you can get so much damage reduction and so much fuel regeneration on hit and on lock break that it outpaces the natural fuel decay Upgrade that generates iron on hit. Whoa! Hey, fantastic. Yeah, this game was really great. Thank you for sharing Try Hard. It's very much up my alley. Uh, it's a really cool take on the idle slash incremental game. Uh, all of the different levels felt like they had cool, distinct challenges. I like kind of the midpoint when you unlock the planet with the sapient creatures on you're like oh shit that's what this game is about it's kind of like paper clips in that respect uh soundtrack was good the gameplay loop was fun um i guess if i had some complaints the upgrade grid could have been a little bit clearer it, one it would be nice if it previewed when you were close to unlocking stuff a little bit more um and two it would be nice if it just like totally deleted nodes that you had already maxed it turns them gray but at first it's kind of hard to see that um Maybe also like highlighting nodes that are like a giant 
uh, improvement. You can kind of guess at the ones that are a big improvement if they only have like one rank to put in them. Um, but occasionally you can have that idle game problem where you're like um, slaving away at a much lower efficiency tier because you haven't noticed that this one node makes you 5,000 times better immediately, right? Uh, a really fun game though. I had a great time with it. These are all the people that helped with beta testing. I'll never reset my save file. This game feels really fun to play from the beginning when you just have the shitty drill and you just die constantly after a few seconds. Kind of reminds me of idle loops in that respect where you're just looping, dying over and over and then your life gets so insane that you can just do anything and survive forever. Yeah, that was a total accident, though. If I hadn't noticed that for much longer, please, that's the kind of thing you can just tell me, I think. Because <laughs> it was available to me, but I just it didn't even see that it was listed there. There's no more content from here on. Thank you for being clear about that. Good looking out. <laughs> 